Hello guys, welcome back. So far we worked with validations for our work experience model. We added default validation helpers like presence and inclusion. And we also saw how to write our own custom and conditional validations for validating model attributes. Now it's time to move forward toward implementing the views and controller for the work experience resource. So let's start doing that. First, we need to define the work experience resource in the routes.rb. Okay, so open the routes file from config directory routes.rb from config directory and here first uh, let's uh, wrap the word okay so we can see the line breaks here and now add the resources work experiences and work experiences make sure to save this as plural okay now we need to create a controller for work experiences resource okay so we know two ways to create controllers either we can create it manually or we can generate it through rail generator command okay so it's all up to you how you want to create but in this lecture i am going to create it manually okay so save the route file and come to the app controllers and here we need to create a new file and save this file as work experiences controller.rv okay save it and now we need to implement the work experiences controller class so class work experiences controller and inherit it via application controller okay and then end this controller file and end a end of line file okay now in this controller we need to add some filter actions first we will add a filter for authenticate user because we will allow only currently signed in user to manage their work experiences through this controller and we will accept a request for this controller only when user is signed in so we need to check whether user is signed in or not first so what we will do we will add a callback for that before action authenticate user that we used in the members controller already if you remember authenticate user okay and now we need to define a before action filter method and that is to set the work experience so before action and set work experience okay and only define your member actions here okay so the member actions we can use uh, percent i and the member actions here like edit update and destroy okay and now let's define the set work experience method as private method so def set work experience okay and here we will write a find query to find a work experience object from the database since we associated work experience with the user model and we will allow only currently signed in users to manage their work experiences so we will fetch work experience object only for currently signed in user okay so we can write here at the rate work experience okay make sure to write at the rate work experience because we will use this instance variable on the views as well okay so at the rate work experience equal to current user dot work experiences dot find params id okay and here you can see that we used current user dot work experiences because we associated work experience model to user model as one to many relationship okay and this is how you can access your child objects for a parent model so here current user is our parent model object and work experiences model are the work experiences object that are associated with the currently signed in user okay and then you need to find a uh, selected work experience from all the work experiences for that current user okay now after doing that we need to define the required actions for the work experiences controller okay and we will implement it here so what we can do first to implement the new action and in the new action we need to instantiate a work experience instance for the currently signed in user so what we can do at the rate work experience equal to current user dot work experiences dot new okay so this will uh, instantiate a work experience object only for currently signed in user okay and now let's add other actions like edit create update and destroy edit create and destroy 
okay and you can see that i only created empty action methods here because we will implement these methods one by one in upcoming lectures okay now as the last thing for this lecture you need to define a method for permitting the required attributes for saving a work experience model in the database okay so after the set work experience define a private method as work experience params okay and in this method what we need to do first add a word ref here as well okay and now params dot require then your hash name okay or the params hash name so we will send params hash as work experience okay and then permit here you need to mention the attributes of work experience model so we can add a start date end date currently working here company employment type location then location type description user id okay and save it and save the job title as well sorry i forget this job title as well okay so now you can save this method so here you can see what per, uh, attributes we are permitting for saving a work experience into the database that is start date end date currently working here company employment type location location type description user id and job title okay and that's it for this lecture now in the next lecture we will start implementing the form for creating a new work experience for currently signed in user meanwhile try this lecture at your end and try to create this work experience controller for your site okay and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe